did you know there's a natural law of science that points to a supernatural force? Yup, this natural law is known as the law of conservation of matter and energy. This natural law states that matter and energy cannot be created or destroyed. Let's just focus on that first part. What does it mean that matter and energy cannot be created? It means that something cannot come from nothing. But Professor, if matter can't be created from nothing, then where did our universe of matter come from? According to this natural law, nothing natural could do this. It's the law. Wait, are you saying this natural law means there should be no matter? But Professor, clearly we're here. So how did that happen? Well, my friends, clearly something circumvented the natural law. But what could circumvent a natural law of science? By definition, it had to be supernatural. That's right. This natural law tells us that a supernatural event has occurred. At some point, matter was created. And when we follow the science, science points to an unnatural, supernatural starting cause. Hold on. Of course someone's going to argue against this logic, right? Go ahead and try. Well, what if I say that law may be proven wrong one day? Sure, maybe one day. But as of today, it is a law, and it's considered one of the most foundational laws of physics. So that argument's just avoiding today's scientific reality. Yeah, I guess that's true. And we've got to follow today's real science. I've heard people say that with quantum mechanics, virtual particles can pop out of nothing. Uh, not a good argument. They're just referring to a subatomic observation where oppositely charged particles appear and then disappear from an already existing quantum energy field. Quantum physicists know that we have never seen matter come from nothing. Never ever? Never ever. So does science really point to a supernatural event producing the matter of the universe? Yes, and there really is no serious scientific argument against this. Science really does point to a supernatural force. So what do we call this force, Professor? That is for each of you to decide. But whatever it is, it is powerful and it is supernatural. <laughs>